Boris is walking on thin ice as Tories MPs erupt over Downing Street leaked scandal garden party. A Tory civil war has exploded as MPs fume over the latest Downing Street party leak with one MP calling the situation a S show, adding that Prime Minister Boris Johnson is hanging by a thread. This comes as the latest poll has shown that two-thirds, 66 percent, of adults think that Boris Johnson should resign following the latest allegations. This is an increase of 12 percent since their last poll at Christmas. The polling showed 42% of 2019 Tory voters agreeing that Mr Johnson should resign. Another poll from the same pollsters showed that 83% of adults, and 74% of 2019 Conservative voters, agreed it is one rule for the government and another rule for everybody else. Just 5% of the general public disagreed, in the survey of 1,040 UK adults on January 11, 2022. Bookmakers have also slashed the odds of the Prime Minister stepping down. The PM is odds on with bookmaker Paddy Power to leave his post before the end of the year, 8-11, in from five-sixths before the most recent revelations. Mr Johnson is also 10-1, from 25-1, to leave Downing Street as early as this week. Yesterday it was revealed that Downing Street staff were invited to a drinks party in the number 10 garden, during the height of lockdown in May 2020, to make the most of the lovely weather. An email leaked showed Mr Johnson's principal private secretary Martin Reynolds telling over 100 number 10 employees to bring your own booze. According to a reliable source, around 40 staff, including Mr Johnson and his wife Carrie Johnson, gathered in the garden eating picnic food and drinking alcohol. Less than an hour before the alleged drinks party, the then Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden had reminded the public that they should only meet in pairs outdoors. Speaking at a coronavirus press briefing, he said, you can meet one person outside of your household in an outdoor, public place provided that you stay two meters apart. The Savanta Comrie's polling showed that a third of people surveyed felt they were less likely to follow government COVID rules as a result of the story. The letter from Mr Reynolds said, Hi all. After what has been an incredibly busy period it would be nice to make the most of the lovely weather and have some socially distanced drinks in the number 10 garden this evening. Please join us from 6pm and bring your own booze. One Tory MP highlighted the rift in the party when speaking to Mail on Sunday journalist Dan Hodges, saying, This is a S show Dan. He's hanging by a thread. No one is comfortable anymore. He cannot continue to dump on us. I think he's reached the tipping point to be honest. Commenting on the damning poll, which saw two-thirds of adults say that Mr Johnson should resign, Savanta Comrie's political research director Chris Hopkins said that the scandal may start the wheels in motion to replace Johnson as Prime Minister. He said, crucially, this time Boris Johnson may lack plausible deniability due to the rumours circling that he and his wife attended the drinks event on the 20th of May while the rest of the country were restricted to meeting just one other person socially outdoors. A 12 pints increase in those saying he should resign compared to Christmas Partygate is significant, but ultimately it's not the court of public opinion that Johnson will be tried in, it's his own party. If, as in December, this scandal leads to the Conservative vote share collapsing in the opinion polls, the doubts among those who used to see Johnson's electoral successes as his saving grace will no doubt increase, and the major difference between now and early December is that the Tories do not have a poll lead to act as a cushion to break the PM's fall. Increased Labour leads that point to Keir Starmer in number 10 really could see Tory backbenchers get touchy, and they may start the wheels in motion to replace Johnson as Prime Minister. Angela Rayner, Deputy Leader of the Labour Party and Shadow Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, responding to reports of the email, said, Boris Johnson has consistently shown that he has no regard for the rules he puts in place for the rest of us. He is trying to get officials to take the fall for his own mistakes, but he sets the tone for the way Downing Street and the rest of government operates, she added. Street and